you can now use Claude 4 Opus to build an entire AI agent army with a single prompt. This includes a network of agents, a master coordinator agent, and a bunch of specialized sub-agents. These are each configured with the appropriate tools, so you don't need to manually edit the JSON or debug this. And you know, it's not like the past videos where there's a bunch of broken connections. This builds out the entire thing perfect the first time. So this approach is really straightforward. You just describe your business operations and then Claude generates the complete workflow architecture. It basically uses its reasoning capabilities to figure out what sub agents it needs to build. And then it outputs the master coordinator agent with all of the sub agents. So my name is Ethan. I've generated 140 grand in the last six months building and selling AI infrastructure. And today I'm going to show you exactly how to work smarter, not harder. Because I truly believe that the ultimate goal of building and selling AI systems is not to spend more time in the weeds in N8N, it's to spend as much time strategizing about value creation. The more you can understand what types of systems will add value and the less time you can spend actually building the thing, the more successful you can be. This has been my exact strategy to get from zero to now 25k a month and so without further ado let's dive right in so this is exactly what it looks like i ran this prompt and then it went in here and i just created like a you know random business idea tech vault cybersecurity, and i basically said here's the business use case create me the agents and the sub agents it basically went and it said okay i'm going to use these different tools security alert triage agent the incident response orchestrator agent then the compliance reporter agent customer billing you can see all these different agents that it came up with and you know within the full implementation now within this um, it basically came up with the initial agent so i haven't had it generate all of the sub agents yet we'll do that in this video but i just want to show you what the output's going to be if i go in here you can see i already imported it but if i just paste this in you know there's the client compliance reporter agent you know if i go in here that's kind of like the the master agent you can see just on the first one shot prompt that I gave it, it created the coordinator agent and the master, you know, all these different sub agents. So let me go here. There's the, you know, master coordinator agent, and you can see it's connecting to all of these different sub agents here. Now, if I go back to Claude, you can see the first, it generated the initial three, and then I can just prompt it to like keep, you know, generating the rest of them. There's the security triage agent. Let's see how this works. I haven't actually imported these yet. So boom, we have the security, you know, triage agent which is, you know, using some sort of lookup to go and, you know, find, I don't even know what it's doing, but you can see it's using, you know, I told it to be a, you know, cybersecurity agency and it's going in and I, I probably wouldn't recommend trying to become a like cybersecurity agency if you've never done that before, but I just want to show you how it can map all of this stuff out, you know, with a single prompt. Now, if I go over here, incident report agent, copy and paste that in. Boom, we have that. And then what is the last one? The compliance reporter agent. You can see it. We basically have all of these sub agents that are connected. And, you know, now, sure, I'm going to need to go in here and I'm going to need to create some triggers, you know, trigger by another workflow, you know, when executed by another workflow. And basically, I'm going to, you know, add this trigger in here. You can see it was in this one, copy and paste. Um, and I will basically, I'll probably put these in other workflows. I can't have these all in one workflow here, but you can see that all of these agents are being triggered by this agent, right? And so then I can go in here and I can connect them, right? So, you know, what is the name? What is the workflow ID? Um, and now the only thing I need to do is connect them. So today I want to show you exactly how to set this up. So first thing you're going to do is you want to create a, a project. Inside of this project, you're going to want to put a bunch of different agents. So the best way to do this, um, there's a couple different ways. We have a bunch in our community at you know AI Entrepreneur University. You can also just literally go to N8N uh, Workflows. Where is it at? Um, N8N Workflow Database. Just type that into Google, and you will see that N8N literally has a database of workflows that you can pull from. You know, I don't want to keep this behind a paywall, right? So N8N Workflow Database. N8N .io. So we're going to go, you can see nadn.io slash workflows. You can see they have this entire database. Some of them are paid, some of them are free. And you're just going to type in AI agent and it's going to find you all of the workflows that use the AI agent tool. Oops, let me go AI agent, the AI agent tool. And so now what you need to do is you need to go in here, you know, here's the automate sales cold calling pipeline. 
like that's a that's a pretty solid you know agent right there and basically what we're going to do is we're going to click use for free copy this go back to claude you know this is the i think i already added this one in here but if i were to add it again paste text content you know and this is the sales agent you can basically just go in and add all of these agents for free from n8n's website directly into here and now this uh system prompt i'm it's going to be inside of the uh community um, so if you want to get the system prompt, just classroom section, AI agent templates. And then inside of that, um, you'll go to the, to the lesson titled, you know, how to build an AI agent army. You can get that system prompt in there. Um, I'm going to give all the secrets also away, but you can grab all these agents for free. Um, and then essentially what we want to do is we want to take this and we're going to take this prompt and we're going to add it into this project. So now that we have the project built, this is how we're going to generate it. So we basically want it to use all of the stuff in the project knowledge base to generate this agent. So the prompt that we're going to use looks like this. You are an expert in and workflow architect. Your objective is to generate a comprehensive functional and importable n and AI agent system, blah, 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 blah. You can see it all right here, you know, screenshot it, copy it. I don't care. At the bottom, I said tech fault, cybersecurity, you know, here's what they do. Here's what they want to do. They want to do optimize, you know, Google Workspace, Jira, Notion, Billing, Slack, whatever it is. You can see that this prompt is helping the AI agent to generate that workflow. Now, basically what I'm going to say is uh, we'll, we'll just run this from scratch. Generate me an entire AI agent system from the following all of the sample AI agents in the project knowledge base and using the instructions below. And then when I paste that in with this prompt and with this instruction, we'll see that it's literally just going to go in in, by the way, make sure that you turn on extended thinking in Claude Opus 4. Opus 4 is by far the best tool to use for generating an AI agent army. So that's one that we're going to use. So now it says based on tech vault, cybersecurity business description, I'll conceptualize six to eight different specialized AI agents that would create a comprehensive security operation orchestration system. So you can see it's kind of coming up with the same exact output as the one that I showed you at the start of this video, but I just wanted to show you it running from scratch so you can see it live. So now it's conceptualizing all these agents, you know, one through eight, the SOC, vulnerability management, compliance. We could just actually change this out. So maybe if I just go in here, and I want to show you like a couple different use cases. So now I'm basically just going to say, you know, update this prompt, but change the business description for an AI agency that uses Slack, ClickUp, Notion, Pandadoc, and uh, Google Workspace. And they're trying to automate sales operations. We want to create, um, or not sales operations, content operation. We want to create an entire AI agent marketing team for this AI agency so they can automate everything on LinkedIn, on X, on any social platform. So just write out the, just rewrite this prompt, but just change the business description to what I just mentioned above. So I wanna show you, let's build out an entirely new one from scratch here. So while the other one is running right now, we're just gonna let, we're just gonna update this prompt to be a little bit closer to my exact use case. And now you can see it's generating this prompt um, and it's just going to change the business description description for us. So I'm going to pause this until this finishes running so that we can rerun. This. Okay. So I basically just updated that prompt. I basically just changed it. So it said innovate AI is a cutting edge AI consultancy, AI powered marketing, um, and sales. And so it basically is using ClickUp, Panadoc, Google workspace, all this stuff, LinkedIn, Twitter, et cetera, to generate content, to do lead generation. So we built an entire sales and marketing team. Um, and that's the goal with this prompt. And so I pasted this in here and I said, generate me an AI agent team based on the following information. And basically what it did is it came up with, um, all these agents, the campaign orchestrator, lead intelligence, content strategy, sales pipeline, engagement, analytics, email outreach, meeting schedule, or customer success. So it's a little broad, like we probably could have narrowed it down only on marketing, but nonetheless, and I'll put something really sick. So I want to show you exactly what happened here. We have the orchestrator agent that it created. Now, if I go over here to NADN, I haven't actually pasted this in yet. I'm just going to show you, you know, let's see if this works. So I just took the JSON code here, clicked copy, boom. So we have the orchestrator agent or the coordinator agent. We have the sales pipeline navigator, content strategy generator, 
lead intelligence, social campaigns. We have all of these different sub agents that it generated, right? So I'm going to click save here. This is the, you know, innovate AI agency um, coordinator agents. And then I'm going to create a new workflow here and I'm going to, you know, add some of these sub workflows. So now I'm going to go back to Claude and I'm going to choose one of these other agents, the social media campaign orchestrator agent. So you can see we have um, the execute workflow trigger. So this is going to be, you know, essentially whenever trigger, uh, not manually, trigger whenever another workflow is generated. And so, you know, on when executed by another workflow, and you can see now we have AI, it basically is, you know, connected to each of these different things. So we have the, you know, Twitter API and LinkedIn post. So let's say we have, you know, this, and it's, you know, once we get the post, it's connected to each of these different things. Um, and then maybe it's adding the response into the content calendar management. So nothing crazy here, nothing crazy, but still it generated that sub agent that we can then call from the main agent. So social media campaign orchestrator. And again, this, this is what I talk about on this channel so much. You don't need crazy complex workflows. You just need functional ones. So now let's go back here, you know, lead intelligence agent. Let's see what this is. You know, we have Clearbit lead enrichment. I've never actually used that in my life. Lead scoring. Let's see what the lead scoring calculator is. If the, you know, company data size is this clear bit. So basically we're enriching all of the leads and now it's not actually like, you know, we still have to construct this a little bit, but all of the components are here. The lead enrichment, lead scoring, lead database management. Let me go in and create a new workflow here. And let's see what the last one is. So sales pipeline navigator agents. Go back. Create a new workflow and the sales pipeline. So this is connecting with Panadoc uh, and it's connected. It's create the uh, Panadoc API. And then we created, you know, click up tasks, sales tasks. So it's basically taking all of our pipeline. It's updating click up Panadoc slack, all that good stuff. So now let me go back to the coordinator agent. Now we can actually go and we can start connecting all of these and it hasn't actually generated all the workflows. So I'm going to say, that's good. Now make sure that the sub agents are actually functional. We don't just want the blocks to be separated. We want to make sure that there's a coherent sub workflow that accomplishes a very specific task and that the, you know, that we're connecting tools to that agent. And so I want you to, you know, output all of these sub agents. Now you outlook output three so far, please output the rest of the sub agents. So that we have an entire agent AI agent team that will connect to the coordinator agent. And so quad four, I'm going to actually just going to let this run now. And we're going to let it just develop and write the code for all the other sub agents. So I'm going to pause this video while this runs. It'll probably take about 60 seconds to two minutes. Um, and you can see it's already starting to go and make these a little bit more comprehensive and output all the different sub agents here. Okay. So this happens from time to time. We basically ran out of space in the initial chat. So I basically just copy and pasted the entire chat into a new chat and asked it to continue working. And then it started generating the workflows again. So now based on what it's done, I'm gonna go back to this and I'm gonna go to our workflows here and I'm gonna start seeing uh, if it generated them successfully. So we have the engagement analytics monitor. We have the meeting scheduler coordinator agent. We have the, um, the next one, the customer success tracking agent. We have the content strategy generator agent over here with Notion. And then we have yeah, all these agents. And so, you know, sometimes you'll hit your usage limits. Um, I would recommend getting on at least a $20 a month plan if you want to like really utilize the system. But you can see that, you know, with one single prompt, we basically generated a team of agents. Now I need to go and basically just hook up all these agents, you know, add the workflow ID in here um, and basically connect all of these sub agents to the agents that we generated here. Um, but that's that's pretty much the core idea, right? We have the master orchestrating agent that's connecting and controlling all the sub agents that each have access to their own tools and 
um, we're basically focused on strategy and creating all of these things inside of, you know, using Claude to strategize about what business problems we're trying to solve and ultimately how we are adding value to a business. And then once we get really clear on that, that's when we go and actually build out the agents. So if you want to get started with this instantly, you can go over to AI Entrepreneur University, go into AI Agent Templates. You can see the one the one shot prompt that I use here. You can just copy and paste that directly in. And then the system prompt that you can put into the Claude project, you add those in with some workflows, you'll be golden. And that's fundamentally what we teach here is how to create offers, email psychology, lead gen. I fundamentally believe that if you spend 90% of your time doing business strategy, focus on offer creation and market positioning, and you figure out what are those key pain points and ways that you can add extreme amounts of value. We have, you know, prompts that go in and help you discover what offers are most valuable in your market and even how to discover what markets are best to sell AI services to. And then fundamentally, if you can do this, then you can, you know, have AI go and generate all of your systems for you. As Claude's getting better, ChatGPT, Grok, all these models, it's only becoming easier and easier to generate workflows. So you shouldn't spend your time learning how to, you know, be super technical inside of N8N. What you need to spend your time doing is figuring out how to master value proposition design, offer creation, market positioning. And if you really understand that and how to do high quality copywriting to pitch that offer, that is when you will go and you will essentially you know, use all of that strategy that you've done to get in front of businesses, to pitch the service that you can offer, to make money, and then you have the AI deliver it for you. That is the vision. That is what we've done here at Smart Scaling AI and how I've scaled to 25K a month um, strictly by running this business model.